Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Blast and Sky here on Turtle Rock. Here we have Blast spawning as the yellow orc player over here at the 10 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Sky spawning over here as the purple human player spawn, um, yeah, spawning over here at the 4 o'clock position. So, Turtle Rock, very common map for Warcraft 3. It is not close spawns, it is cross map spawns, so we shouldn't see that much militia cheese. And this game is now underway. Sky going down with the standard Altar of Kings barracks farm build. Meanwhile, we have Blast opening up with an Altar of Storms and a barracks. Most likely going to go ahead and put down a Voodoo Lounge here. And we'll see if whether uh, Blast was going to try to open up with a standard build. Or if he's going to try to, um, with the second Orc Burrow. Or if he's going to try to go for a little bit more of an unorthodox strategy. And get an upgrade to Stronghold first. Altar of Storm should be completed. I'm expecting an Archmage versus a Blade Master matchup here. Sky completing this front wall going to make it very difficult or nearly impossible for the Blade Master to get in here with the final farm here. And then probably maybe even an Arcane Tower to try to um, handle any other harassment. We do in fact have the Blade Master coming in from Blast. Archmage coming in from Sky, so Archmage versus Blade Master here on Turtle Rock. We do have footmen being produced, and we now have the Scout Tower in position. Most likely going to have a farm here to protect that Scout Tower or that Arcane Tower once it's up. And now we do have the Voodoo Lounge being built. So the Voodoo Lounge nearing completion. Blast um, going for an extra grunt and then not producing two additional peons so he's kind of behind on lumber now we, we should either see an orc burrow coming down shortly or we should see an attack to tier two he's kind of behind on the on the wood so he may just be trying to go for an additional orc burrow yeah there it is there's that extra orc burrow there's that extra orc burrow so should be just a fairly interesting strategy see what, what's going to be happening we now we have a footman moving out across the map along with this archmage archmage is going to do some militia creeping here so uh, militia creeping with that footman trying to fo uh, focus off this water elemental water elemental should take the majority of this range damage as those militia are going to go ahead and come and finish off the rest of that damage picking up what was that item uh Gla gauntlets of overstrength blade master over here going to go ahead and, and sell already sell a scroll of town portal picking up a healing set speed scroll and the slippers of agility so he has an additional plus three attack on that blade master blade master now um healing back up with that healing sab and now going to continue to move on out we have a blast moving in with a peon so the peon may try to do a little bit of a kill steal as well footman going to try to focus down and um, this giant as uh, giant sea turtle the giant sea turtle down to 110 hit points already 61 blade master make it that final hit and no i do not think the blade master got the final hit the archmage got the final hit and now archmage may get to level two no blade master stealing that kill there so the archmage now going to try to deal some damage towards that Blade Master, Blade Master already down to 226. That footman should be microed away. Not quite sure. Oh, there it goes down. And now that Blade Master down to 91 hit points. Um, uh, for some reason, not wind walking down to 63, 44 hit points. And now finally getting the healing healing staff. No footman coming over to try to break that healing staff. So nicely done by Blast, um, enabling him to get some more healing off on that Blade Master. Blade Master may try to get to level two. Footman may have gotten the Archmage. Nope, he is now four experience away from level two. And now in Archmage, is he going to get a hit off? No, not getting a hit off. Um, finally getting a hit off, but that wind walk was able to uh, dodge that fireball attack. So that Blade Master still healing him quite comfortably and just running around the map just trying to keep track um, meanwhile we have blast coming in with some grunts uh, we are attacking to tier two and sky not getting the upgrade to that arcane tower just quite yet a little surprised by that as that archmage oh no blade master just picked up a boots of speed so nothing really happening over there. Now we have Grunts now moving in to try to take down this farm. The farm should be able to take some damage as it is fortified armor. And with 5 armor reducing the damage by 23%. So those Grunts are going to have a long way to re and take down that farm with a peasant repairing it. Back over here, Blade Master coming in. Archmage may pick up boot Boots of Speed for himself as well. And a Staff of Teleportation. So we may see a little bit of harassment coming in from Sky. Footman now running around. And a nice little bit of a pathing coming in from the Footman of Sky. Making sure that that Blade Master is unable to focus any or try to take on any of these low hit point units. And now the Archmage coming in may be able to get in some critical Orc Burrows. If he can supply locks on any of these units. And now moving away as well. And this Orc Burrow right here by this gold, mi gold mine going to make it fairly difficult to do any harassment. Oh, Archmage with that very, very long uh, attack it should be able to at least cause some harassment. But in comes that Blade Master. Blade Master get, getting the level 2 on that Archmage. Archmage now moving around. Got to remember that heroes gain experience 
even though um, the, the footmen are not nearby. So long distance experience for that Archmage. Archmage now getting staff of tele using that staff of teleportation over here and perhaps going to clear out this orange ogre camp pick up a nice item for himself. The Grunts now moving over here, taking down another farm, and really and also getting a training up a Mountain King, but currently supply locked. And we have dual Sanctums coming into play. So dual Sanctum is going to be mass casters coming in from Sky. Sky now for, um, getting the, these kills on these Ogre Warriors. We should be seeing a Shadow Hunter. Yeah, Shadow Hunter coming in from Blast with a Watchtower. Oh, double um, with one Watchtower and a Spirit Lounge. I do not see a Bestiary yet. So um, the Bestiary is the normal common tactic for the Orc player getting raiders in order to um, push around and be able to cause additional harassment as well. B Blademaster now coming in, taking down this Ogre Warrior. Blademaster sitting at level 2 that picks up a Circle of Nobility for himself. So now plus 5 attack on that Blademaster. No Claws of Attack plus 6 just quite yes. yet. Archmage now coming in, may be able to drop in a Water Mental and then try to delay this Bestiary. Archmage does not have quite enough for that um, Water Mental um, just yet. And then here comes that Water Mental, now going to focus this Bestiary. Bestiary wants to be delayed as long as possible. Possible. It really wants to just uh, delay that bestiary, that piercing damage from that water mental, dealing a lot of damage to that bestiary, down to 60 hit points, forcing it to be cancelled, and now pulling away. Shadow Hunter now out. We may get a hex on, yeah, one of those footmen. So one footman easily going to get taken down as that, that footman is now a, what, is that a rat or a chicken? It can't quite tell, and that Shadow Hunter is going to get a free kill there. Blade Master chasing down one footman as well. Footman down to 114 hit points as that Blade Master just continues to get some hits in. Mountain King coming in and getting a bolt though. So the Mountain King coming out with a bolt. Blade Master is going to be forced to pull back as that footman should be able to head home and heal back up. Another low hit point footman over here dodging the hex of that Shadow Hunter. So that Shadow Hunter unable to get an additional kill off on this footman. Footman should be able to return home. Now we have some casters coming in and we should be seeing a sky tower rush and um, look taking a look we do not have the masonry upgrade just quite yet we do in fact have the blade master um, creeping with the shadow hunter so we blade master should be able to get the level three shadow hunter may get close to level two um, at some point we have belt of giant strength so that should be sold not that great of an item but nice tome of agility plus two so nice plus two attack for a permanent plus two attack for that blade master mountain king coming in gonna go ahead perhaps get a, um, a bolt or, or try to stun the gigantuan sea turtle as the rest of these units are healing and now no the giant sea turtle gonna turn around and go after some of these militia instead we have some priests coming in to heal so that militia should have no problem the mech micro back out yeah nicely done and down it goes mountain king now sitting at level one with that um, boot to speed and a potion of greater mana so nicely done there shadow hunter sitting at level two blade master will get to level three in, in just a moment there we go so getting a cloak of shadows most likely will be sold as both sides just creeping around the map trying to get the all-important hero levels those hero levels with those hero spells very very critical in warcraft 3 ring of regeneration being picked up and the ogre warrior now most likely going to fall as well stay tuned for part two of this replay between sky and blast here on turtle rock this replay brought to you by lucomputers.com go ahead and check out their website if you're looking for a new computer for the upcoming starcraft 2 release Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, stay tuned for part 2.